if things are really so good, why are semicon stocks, notwithstanding the bounce we saw last night, why are semicon stocks doing so badly? <laughs> First of all, thank you for having me. <clears throat> I think the, uh, as you said, I'm not the market guy, but uh, the semi stocks uh, is uh, are dependent on many factors, many variables. But the fundamentals of the industry are super strong, and I think uh, market is right now uh, influenced with many uh, factors uh, like uh, uh, Russia Ukraine war and uh, climate issues and so on. So I'm not concerned about this market. Uh, the stock, stocks will definitely come back, and they've been up and down. Uh, I'm actually not worried about that at all. I think I'm more concerned about how do we get out of this chip shortage issues and how do we get industry ahead of the, the problem that we're facing right now. And is there a short answer to that? Well, the short answer is this, that probably this problem will be with us for at least a couple of years. And uh, as you mentioned, also the growth uh, of the industry is, uh, is uh, tremendous. And uh, at the same time, the, the, what industry is doing, adding a lot of capacity. In my 40 years of career, I've never seen the announcements like this. There are some, something like 94 MAB fabs have been announced to be commissioned between now and 2024, of which 25 8-inch fabs and uh, 69 12 inch fabs around the world. This will add a lot of capacity, but unfortunately, that capacity will be added in next year to three years time frame. And uh, the demand is definitely high, which is because of many new disruptions, especially the growth of the industry is tremendous. Uh, our industry uh, in IC revenue last year ended with 550 billion US dollars. And that took 60 years to get to 550 billion US dollars. And the projections are in next 10 years, we will grow to 1.3 trillion dollars. And that growth is due to these numerous disruptions. Of course, yeah. we know about the IoT, image sensors, uh, AI, uh, 5G, 6G, quantum computing, cryptocurrencies, bitcoins, all this is adding a lot of uh, growth to the industry.